and representing Italy in the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea. We have Mario Mario, and he is going to show us a majestic triple backflip into a swan dive. Here we go. The judges give that a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10, the judges are going crazy. Can he hit the last backflip? Oh my god, they're going insane! And to finish it up, a uh, swan dive thing. How do I swan dive? Beautiful, oh, wait, beautiful! Oh my god, so majestic. What's up guys, welcome back to my most consistent let's play of all time. <laughs> Super Mario 64 Last Impact. Is this the door from the spider house of Majora's Mask? It kind of looks like it. I don't like it. It's too arachnidy. Can that be a new adjective? I know I need to have my own dictionary. I've thought about making my own dictionary for like the sling that I use. Arachnidy. That's the new word we're adding. Okay, so we're going to start off by getting this mushroom that allows us to be Paper Mario. Gotta think thin. Mario, have you called Ginny yet? Obviously, because your new diet is working. Man, he even lost head weight. Like, that's, that's really difficult. Um... And now that we have that, we can go inside this warp pipe because we can fit inside the cracks. Maybe if I can line this up, Mario, stop. Grab it onto the edge of the pipe, you fucker. Okay, and here we are in a desert region. Um, what, what is this thing over here? I think it's supposed to be a Koopa. <laughs> it's a kind of ugly Koopa, but it's a giant gold statue, so we'll let it slide. Oh, here's the one up. I'll just go ahead and grab that because I already have gotten enough game overs during this let's play. I think I should try to limit it a little bit. Okay, so this appears to be a bonus level. And I see a red coin, so do we just collect red coins here? Oh, there's another big grate over here. Wow, this is the greatest grate I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so there must be another thin shroom. I'm just gonna call the mushrooms that make Mario thin, thin shrooms, because I don't honestly have a better name for them. Hey look, it's a thin shroom! Um. <laughs> You know, Mario, in order for him to lose weight, he just takes a lot of drugs. I wouldn't recommend it. Not the most admirable way to lose weight, but Mario's making it work. He is under a lot of pressure. He's in a lot of different video games. Can I get out of this? <laughs> I'm trying to get out of here. I can't even see what's going on because my camera is in such a bad angle. What's up, Pokey? Haven't seen you in a while, dude. Wow. Rude. You hurt me as I'm trying to kill you. That's not very nice of you. Can Dang. We're just getting destroyed here. Oh gosh, where did I just go? Okay, well, we're underwater. There's a bunch of sucker fish. We're suddenly in an aquarium. Are we inside a level that was inside a level? Is this, or is this, this is another brand new level. Secret aquarium. We literally found a secret level inside a secret level. Levelception. It's my favorite. Literally, right? Oh gosh, we're almost out of air. Does coins? Oh god, uh... Air bubbles? There we go. Whew. I thought the I thought the coins would refill my little air gauge. They do not. But no, I was watching um <laughs> a Snapchat right before I before I started recording this. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of the Snapchat page, no chill, but they upload just like tons of random funny snaps. And right before <laughs> I started recording, I saw the Snapchat of this kid freaking out because his younger brother was scuba diving inside of his aquarium. He was just wearing a snorkel. He was in his swimming trunks and wearing a snorkel and was just scuba diving inside of his brother's fish tank. And his brother was like so pissed. He's like, get out of my fish tank! And the brother's like, I don't know how! It was great. And now I have an aspiration to go <laughs> scuba diving inside a fish tank. Sucker fish are just the weirdest looking type of fish. They're just, they kind of look like manta rays inside this aquarium. Okay, where's the rest of my red coins at? I don't see any more. And this air gauge is honestly stressing me out because it depletes a little bit too quickly. Is this a sphinx? I believe it is. You know what? That's going to be our comment question of the day today. Is, do you guys have fish tanks? And if so, what kind of fish tank and what kind of fish do you have? I've personally never had a fish tank. Um, my old friend Jared, he used to have like tons of fish tanks. Like he was like really big into fish and pretty much I got my fish fix through through my friend Jared. Um, they seem kind of stressful. They would get like tons of diseases all the time and they would die or they would like fight each other or eat each other or they would eat each other's fins. It was a brutal life. I mean, Finding Nemo honestly made living in a fish tank seem way less stressful than it really is. 
You know what? Scratch that. What am I saying? Finding Nemo's fish tank was one of the most stressful fish tanks I've ever witnessed in my whole entire life. I'm not sure what I'm saying right now. But now, last episode's com comment question of the day. I'm not going to really pick out any individual comments from it to really focus on. But I do just want to commend my audience for my view for my videos. I'm um, taking a comment question such a that has to do with religion so seriously and like not getting into any arguments. Like you guys were just so civil about the religious debates and I really I just really love my audience so much. I just love how mature all of you guys are. Even though I have some immature commentary at times. We really do have a mature like group watching these videos. I'm sure there is some immature people watching, but it doesn't really show. I mean, I've looked at my demographics for my YouTube channel and over I think about 80% of my viewers is in between the age of 18 and 24, which kind of makes sense with the types of games that I play. I do play a lot of um, games like from the GameCube era, Nintendo 64 and GameCube era, which would honestly attract a lot of people who played those games from those times. I'm sure there is people who play, like kids who do play older games, but as far as like the main demographic goes, I think the majority of the people watching those types of games are people who are more nostalgia driven than people who are really into them. I'm sure all the kids that like Mario nowadays probably just play Mario Odyssey and that's it. I mean, that's overgeneralizing. I'm sure that's not completely the case. And also, <laughs> put my phone on silent. I don't know why it wasn't. Being an unprofessional streamer, as per usual, just doing my attacking Toucan's duty. Yay! Another one up. But yeah, so I think it's really cool. We have, we have a lot of different religious views and um, just types of viewers in the chat, which is really cool. I love how much diversity we have on the internet and then the fact that we can all just like get along and enjoy video games together and put our religious differences and things aside. I wish more people in society were like that. Because <laughs> honestly, I feel like we have just a lot of good open-minded people in this community and that's great. And I'm just super thankful and blessed for the community that I have around me. Having such supportive, amazing people. But then again, I guess I am a gay let's player, so I'm bound to get a lot more open-minded people in comparison to somebody who's like playing Call of Duty or what other games have toxic communities? I don't know. Can you guys think of any other games that just have really toxic like communities or YouTubers who have really toxic communities? I mean, typically the toxic communities I think are like the people who play first-person shooters and there's a lot of like junior high age kids because junior high age kids can be really toxic sometimes they can be really mean to each other i think it's because they're like starting to go through their self-realization phase and they're starting to like realize all their insecurities and like how society really works and it makes them really frustrated and angsty and such so yeah anyways i'm trying to figure out how to get on top of this box i was failing pretty miserably that's one of the reasons i like playing mario 64 so much on my youtube channel it's because it is like one of those games where I can just play it and just completely zone out and talk about other things while I'm playing the game. I meant to long jump just there. Ended up failing pretty miserably and just ground pounded instead. Let's try that again. I'm trying to decide what, sh what I should do after this this secret level. I'll probably go back to the like candy level and finish that off. Because if I remember correctly, we have like, yeah, just one more star there. So we might as well finish off that level today as well. I was um, actually, I was just at one of Kaze's streams. If you guys um, do have some extra money, I talked about this in Mario 64 Online Versus, but I'll talk about it here as well because I think it's an important thing to talk about, especially since we're playing a game made by Kaze. Um, so he was just really hit by that whole new YouTube um, rule. You know that rule that they just like implemented where you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time per year and like 1,000 subscribers in order to stay monetized? Well, when they were... Uh, unmonetizing a lot of channels for this like new update that YouTube is implementing they ended up they ended up unmonetizing Kaze although Kaze is way over the requirements for some reason the YouTube algorithm just unmonetized him for no reason and it's been taking him forever to get remonetized and because of this he hasn't been able to really upload anything new on his YouTube channel because he won't be able to monetize it and that's since he puts in so much time into these hacks he kind of depends on the YouTube monetization to get money for his work Oh shit. Um, so he was kind of screwed over and he's trying to regain monetization and while he's waiting on that to happen he's just working on a lot of stuff and he's been doing so on Twitch. So going back full circle, um, if you do have some extra income and can help Kaze out if you want to, go and just like subscribe to him on Twitch or go drop him like a, some bits or whatever. 
I've been going to his streams and just dropping bits every once in a while just because I've been playing his games on my YouTube channel. And I'm like, I might as well support the person whose games I've been playing. I'm really struggling getting on top of this giant cactus. But yeah, I really feel sorry for him because he works really hard and he does have the YouTube views and everything. Like, that shouldn't have happened to him. But YouTube is just being a dick monster recently. And... Pff, okay, Mario fa <laughs> face first in the sand is hilarious. Okay, let me go ahead and cut to me getting this coin because this is getting ridiculous. Alright, there we go. But yeah, I'll put Kaze's um, Twitch in the description below if you guys just want to follow him and maybe help him out a little bit. Um, you're not required to. It's just if you're... If you have extra income and you want to help out somebody who was just screwed over by the YouTube algorithm. I mean, they're screwing over a lot of people. I've been completely screwed over as well. Like, Versus? Josh and I are practically doing Versus now because we enjoy doing Versus. Because YouTube, like, demonetizes every single Versus video for, like, almost every, almost every single Versus video for the first 12 hours. Until the manual submission process goes through. It kind of sucks. We pretty much miss out on a majority of the monetization on that channel now. But we love Versus, we love the community, and we're super thankful for it, and we don't want that to go away, so we're just going to continue doing what we love doing, regardless of the money, because fortunately, me and Josh are both doing pretty well, thanks to viewers on Twitch and stuff now, to where we don't have to worry about YouTube monetization, we have the freedom to just make content because we enjoy making content, and it's great. Gosh, this is really glitchy, trying to use this thin shroom to get inside these bars. Because you can't- wait, can I walk sideways? I don't think so. Yeah, there's not really a great way to do this, is there? It's okay. I'm making it work. Okay, we have two more red coins. I'm pretty sure one is still over on top of this box over here. I did not mean to fall off the pyramid. Okay, there's something on top of this pyramid. I'm not sure how I'm going to get to it. There's like clouds. Is that an airship? How do I get up there? Am I able to climb up this pyramid? Um, let's see. I wonder if I do like the whole... Boop, 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 trick. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it, because of the sound Mario makes. Just gotta keep on spamming that jump click? I don't know, actually, nope. That doesn't give it us enough elevation. Huh! I don't know how to get up there, honestly. But before I do that, let me jump down on this box. Oh wait, the coin's inside of the box. So what's on top? Was that a cannon? If it's a cannon, then our problems are solved. Ugh. Get inside. Oh, I can probably just use that air vent over there to get in here. Dang it, come on. This is kind of obnoxious. Am I still thin? Yeah. How do- is there a way to like strife? Or sh is that what's- is that what's the word? Strafe? <laughs> like walk sideways? Not strife, that's a completely different word. I mean, it's, ca it's causing me strife not knowing how to strafe. Ugh! Get in there, Mario! Thank you! Now we have to get out as well! <laughs> I think jumping actually helps a lot. Yeah. Jumping's the way to go. Alright, let's get up to this cannon. We're gonna fight our arch nemesis from Zelda, Cannondorf. Raise me up so I can walk on mountains. Alright, I'm not that great with cannons in this game. Even though I've shot out of these cannons a million times, I still haven't fully memorized their physics. Can I shoot through the clouds or do I gotta just like get up on this one that looks weird oh oh hey I made it okay let's just carefully <laughs> cloud jump <laughs> the clouds seem a little bit slippery it's probably because they're moist <laughs> due to some condensation oh where are we at now is this another level are you kidding me are you kidding me does that mean I lose all of my eight red coins from that earlier level? What the actual frick frack? Dude! <laughs> a little bit of warning or something, come on now. Damn it. <laughs> well, it looks like we're playing Rainbow Ride from Super Smash Bros. Melee all of a sudden. And I just fell, so that's great. And do I lose all my- I did lose all eight red coins. Oh, my freak. It sounded like Mario said, Diarrhea! Okay, well, I'll definitely recollect the other seven coins off screen. I guess we'll just keep on playing and I'll keep on working on this level and then I'll go back and <laughs> get those coins again. That really sucks though, man. I did not expect that. Yeah, this definitely looks like it's themed off of Rainbow Ride. Which, okay, Rainbow Ride and Melee. Is that based off of something else in a Mario game? I'm trying to think, like, what it could be based off of. Rainbow Ride. Is this a flying ship? Is that in any other Mario game or is it its own thing? 
It's probably from like a 2D Mario game, like Mario Bros. 3 or something, not like Mario World. It's probably from Super Mario World. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm kind of talking to my ass right now. That's pretty much all I ever do. Literally my job has become talking out of my ass, which I guess I've gotten pretty decent at it, just randomly talking about stupid shit. <laughs> I do my best, I do what I can. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> well, that was like the most off-key singing ever. Am I losing lives for this? I am. Dang it. Okay, I need to be more careful. He says as he jumps off the ship. Okay. Okay, I think this is the other 8 red coin I didn't get last time. I decided I'm just going to stick with my original plan and get the 8 red coins in this level. And then I'm going to go back to Colossal, Can uh, Colossal Candy Clutcher after this one. That's a really hard level to name to say. And then we'll come back to that Rainbow Ride themed level later. <laughs> Because I'm kind of getting tired of collecting 8 red coins at this point, which you can probably understand. Collecting 8 red coins isn't the most fun thing to do over and over again. Anyways, we'll go ahead and collect the rest of these. Okay, there we go. There's our 8 red coins. <laughs> Where's the star at, though? I don't know. <laughs> that was the most or the least helpful cutscene I've ever got, seen in my life. Alright, even though I like this whole Thinspiration power-up, I'm kind of over it. Going through those metal bars kind of obnoxious. I guess it is kind of fun playing as Paper Mario, though. It's very different. Alright, I'm gonna say screw you to that <laughs> cloud level for right now. That was causing me a bit too much difficulty. And I'm sure it's not that difficult. And people have been warning me that this game does get extremely hard towards the end. So far, haven't had too many problems, but there's still quite a few levels to do. Like, let's see, because last episode we started this level over here. Um, I forgot what it was called. Uh, Dusky Doomed Dale, the Triple D, that's right. And we almost get all the stars over there. Um, I think this is the next level, if I remember correctly. Because I did peek into it once, I'm pretty sure that is the next level. And then I know there's the beehive level, beehive level over here on this side. If you can look at it. There's the Bayhive. I bet we can find Shasha Fierce inside. Um, pretty sure that Beanstalk on top of the roof leads to another level. And then there's like a Bowser level behind this gate over here. We have to use a cannon to shoot behind this gate. That's all stuff we'll get to eventually. Um, <laughs> I know this Let's Play is taking a long time to get through. But at the same time, I'm kind of okay with Let's Plays taking a long time. Because I still try my best to make my Let's Plays as good as possible. Um, just in case. Like, just for those people who go back and watch the series later on. Is even though like the series might not be super frequent, I still try to make my series as good as it possibly can be for those who like binge watch it later. Because that ends up being a majority of the views in the long run is the people who go back and watch the series over time. Like, because I know like a, during summer break and a lot of the time, people just look for like series to have on in the background and such. Um, have I done this yet? I remember this was something. Can't remember if I did it or not though. Ground pound this button to start a 30 second long rainbow coin challenge. After you start the challenge, five rainbow coins will appear in the area in front of you. If you succeed, you'll hear a fanfare and unlock something in Toad's minigame house. Oh, sick. All right, let's do it. Let's say, say ground pound. It did. All right, going for some rainbow coins. These things look awesome. They're a little bit trippy looking, but they still look pretty cool. They look like everlasting gobstoppers. Um, okay, there's two. Where's three? I'm really good at hide and go seek under pressure. I meant to say bad. I'm bad at hide and go seek under pressure. Here's a third one. Alright. Where's four? Oh, it's back here towards the entrance. Maybe I should have gotten this one first. Alright, we failed that. Let's try again. Can we try again? Does it reappear? Oh. Do I only get one try? Okay, we'll try again later. Anyways. What's going on with this chain chomp? How do we feed the chain chomp? What are we feeding him? What do chain chomps like to eat? Do they like chocolate? Chocolate? Did he say chocolate? Okay. Um. So we know where the chain chomp is. We just gotta figure out what he's hungry for. I mean, there's lots of food options around here. Okay, the cutscene is telling us to head to the other side of the map. It's literally showing us the whole entire map. That is so, <laughs> like, unhelpful. <laughs> ah, no! Death by donut. Death by donut. <laughs> Alright, let's try to unlock this mini game again. Let's start off with the nearby coins as well. 
my air conditioning just turned on and honestly it scared me <laughs> I didn't know what the sound was at first does anybody else ever get scared by the air conditioner or am I the only one who's pathetic enough to be scared by something like that I mean it is a little bit jarring you're like whoa what is that sound that's like shaking my whole entire house like it's just like right as it starts up it's a little bit louder than usual oh I see the last one yeah okay so that's supposed to unlock a minigame right does it just happen? Do I have to come back here and like confirm that I collected all the rainbow coins? I'm excited to see what mini game this is though. Like the mini games are pretty fun. Not gonna lie. What does this take me to? Have I used this teleporter before? Oh, it takes us over by Yoshers. Nope. I died. Oh shit, game over. What? Dang it, that's six game overs. <laughs> We're stacking them on. Okay, the only idea I have is to feed him candy with Yoshi. So I'm gonna try to do that. So I'm sure that's like, that's literally the only way I can think of feeding him. Uh, so we'll just eat some like candies. Eat that candy. All right, let's go feed Chompy Butt over here. <laughs> I like candy. Bum, 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 dun, dun. I like candy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, some old school Aaron Carter for those of you who even know who that is. Can I throw these eggs? I should be able to, right? It only makes sense. Eat. Oh shit! Uh, he seems kinda pissed. Oh dang it, come on. Okay, I think that's right. I mean, he's turning red, so that means we're doing something, right? <laughs> I think. Let's go get some more candy. <laughs> I love Yoshi's squiggly tongue, it's so funny. <laughs> it just like snakes towards the enemies sometimes and it cracks my shit up. Okay, please make it! No, 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 please! No! Yoshi, you're holding on, buddy. You're holding on. You got this. Oh no, okay. I'll take the L. All right, there's one bomb. Let's go for two. Oh damn, he's turning red. He's getting pissed. Looking like a cherry. Oh, I missed that time. Okay, let's re-up. Oh wait, there's a Goomba right here. Perfect. Hopefully we only need three eggs. I wonder if these are like candy eggs. There we go. That one wasn't too hard. I guess it kind of makes sense that they use Yoshi for the last star in the level that introduces Yoshi. It only makes sense. All right, thank you, Yoshi. Thanks for giving us a good time in Colossal Candy Clutter, because with that, we have now 100%ed another level in the game. Um, let's see, we've 100%ed the first six levels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dope. And then seven's almost done. We've gotten 14 hidden stars. That's awesome. All right, so thank you all so much for watching this episode. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And in the next episode, I think we will begin the next level of the game, which is... I think this level right here. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Like every single day, day.